What's up guys? It looks like the day has finally come. We're going to pick up the boat and drive her back to our dock. Fiberglass work was done. The gel coat was repaired. I had the props redone. Um, the whole bottom of the boat was painted. And um, and that's pretty much it. We're, uh, you know, aesthetically, it should look in pretty good shape. We'll be there in a few minutes. And we're gonna try to uh, get this thing back. So stick around and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we are. We're about 99% done here. I'm all painted. Don't know if I showed you this. This is the prop tunnel repaired. It had a big crack in here. We got all the running gear underneath painted. New zincs are on. Trim tabs all straightened out. All the cracks and gouges were repaired really still needs a good uh, compound wax on the hull but uh, we'll get to that in due time the water line if you notice this is a, the painted black stripe it used to have pinstripe gray pinstripe on the top and bottom of it pulled that off that's why it's a little different color it's a little hazed on there but um, I sort of like it without the pinstripe for now so I'm gonna say we're like 99% you know 17 year old boat any boats gonna have its imperfections but uh pretty pleased with the way it looks I'll probably be the only one to notice the imperfections <laughs> still got to give it a coat of wax on the hull and then we're getting dropped in the waters this afternoon couple hours we're not a salvage and yes I know trespassing is spelt wrong the top side above the rub rail was not cleaned at all that's gonna be done when we get it back home at the dock with our regular cleaning it got pretty dirty sitting here in the yard with all the sanding and the pressure washing going on but we are almost ready to go. We don't need that anymore. All right, here we go. At least we got high tide. Almost there. It's bubbling some air out of it, out of the gland. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see what it does. I don't see any leaks from these. 
The shafts look okay. Officially underway as Captain Tommy is about to navigate into the Caloosahatchee River, you know, known for its, uh, you know, wonderful, uh, breathtaking views of downtown North Fort Myers, as well as Cape Coral and the surrounding areas. Known for its brown water. We do have some brackish <laughs> water down here as well, as we get to, as we prepare to enter the channel. And in this case, green's on the right, red's on the left, and away we go with slow speed and Actually, this channel is very well marked. Yeah. They must have improved it since yes. they have all the boats coming in. Yeah. They've done a lot of improvements down here since the hurricane. So, and I'm going to pan to the north, and you can see the North Fort Myers, downtown Fort Myers. God, I missed this. <laughs> hey, Captain Tommy, how about a, how about a cheers? No, yes, we needed a departing beer because it's a very stressful situation. Beer never hurt anybody. No. All right, let's see. We are almost at 2,000 RPM and running 8.3 miles an hour. That is good. That's what we typically run. No vibrations to think of. We're running good. Once we uh, turn the corner, we'll try to get off on plane. Here we are. We're still on the entrance channel, pulling in, pulling out to the Kusahashi. And look at this. There are crab pots, literally. Literally in the center of the ICW on the Clusatchee River, right in the channel. And they really need to remove those. All right, it's time to open her up a little bit, see what she does. We are on the ICW, everything looks good. No boats around. We're gonna open her up a little bit, see what she does. We're doing eight and a half right now at 2,000. Give it some tab as we always do. Three thousand. Eleven. Right, we're fifteen miles an hour. Coming up on. Just getting up on plane. Yeah, baby. Motor's feeling good. Oh, we're. we're we're 20 miles, 20 and a half, 21, 4,000 RPM, and we're still just leveling out. 22 miles an hour, I'm not even wide open throttle. Whoa, what a difference. 23, 24 miles an hour, 4,200 RPM. So it's safe to say we fixed the problem. <laughs> um, we do have one motor that runs a couple hundred RPM less than the other. Port motor is still a little low, but we're getting a lot more RPM out of it now. 24 miles an hour. We haven't gone this fast since I was in New York. Let's see if we get a little more, trim it down. Yep, running good. Motor feels good. I don't feel any vibration. Do you feel anything? Feels good. Let's let's give it wide open. See what it does. All right, we still got this, see that port motor is still running a little bit shy, less RPM, but I'm almost 24 and a half miles an hour. You know, 4,200 on one motor, 42, 4,300 on the other. We broke 25 miles an hour. So definitely speeds are back to where we were before any issues, but I just like to figure out why one motor runs 100 RPM less than the other. But not the end of the world, we don't run it at wide open throttle. 42, 4,300 RPM, so, but she's running good at 25. Let's get her down to 20 again, a good speed. Everything seems to be in order on the boat. The captain appears happy. Uh, I've seen him smile a time or two. Running uh, good. 
and he's uh, he's he's setting speed records in this boat right now uh, that he hasn't seen in at least two years. So all good. Captain, any words for uh, your uh, followers? Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> While the captain's away, the first mate will play. Uh, in about 10 feet of water here, and we're doing a whopping eight nautical miles per hour uh, as we navigate our way down the uh, Calusa Hatchie. Just don't tell Tommy I'm uh, goofing around with his boat. All right, I'm gonna check everything underway. And the rudder is still weeping. A little bit. Got no water leaking from the shafts. No vibrations. Everything looks good. But so far, so good. All right, so we got Captain Steve now at the wheel. Captain drives, he's a mariner and also an aviator. What do you drive? What do you fly, Steve? Uh, FedEx at McDonnell Douglas MD-11. Ooh. McDonnell Douglas MD-11, that sounds like a big plane to me. That is a big year. How many engines? Three. And how do you count the engines? You got number one engine, number two engine, number three engine. Yeah, the, uh, under, the underwing engines are the odd, they're one and three, and the uh, tail engine is number two. Start at the uh, left wing and work your way across. So if you had four engines, it'd be one, two on the left wing and three, four on the right wing. Uh, a few videos ago, Steve was videotaping me working in the uh, in the engine room, and uh, he brought up, "Oh, he's working on the number two engine now." <laughs> that was starboard number two. It's the starboard number two engine. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're doing good. Oh, and this, I don't know if I should videotape this. This is our new seat cushion that we just had replaced. <laughs> Those of you who may not have seen or may remember that uh, we lost this seat cushion in the uh, in Hurricane Ian, and we found it a couple blocks away from the house in a trash heap. It blew off the boat and uh, floated down the canal. But we, uh, we found it, and we got it reupholstered at Auto Trims in Cape Coral. Thank you, Mike. Mike's a great guy over there, owns the shop and does great work. He not only works on boat cushions, but also auto upholstery. And uh, he does a really good job and he's very reasonable. So quality work right here. So we'll be going back to Mike to help us out when we want to replace the rest of them. Everything is so filthy here. Look at this dirt. We need to clean her up really good can't wait get her back to the dock and clean her up tomorrow looking forward to that short time we'll be docking this back at home and i'm thinking tommy's happy to have his boat back yes i am home sweet home there's the admiral the admiral is uh just watching us she's checking to make sure that uh all all things that uh, Captain Tommy does is sound and wise. There's, there's the Admiral. Fortunately, his first mate was able to coach him in. All right, so here she is, safe and sound. I get to relax a little bit tonight. And tomorrow, we start cleaning her up and getting her ready. Getting her back to her former glory. So glad to have her back. So thanks for sticking around, and we will see you next time. This Miller Lights for you.